Hello, and welcome to the Microsoft Cost Management Learning Series. My name is Matt Justin Hain, and I'm a product manager on the cost management team. Today, I'll be showing you how to create scheduled cost exports. If you have watched the cost analysis videos, then you'll be familiar with how to manually download your cost management data. However, if you need to download your data more frequently, a scalable approach would be to create scheduled exports in Azure Storage. You can then use that exported data to create your own dashboards or to populate other financial systems. Let's walk through how to create an export and verify that the data is being stored in Azure. The first thing we need to do is sign into the Azure portal, go to the cost management page, and select the billing scope of your choice. Today, I'll be using a test account called Tray Research. We will then find the export experience under the reporting and analytics dropdown. To create a new export, you will select the Create button on the top of the screen. You will then be greeted by the basic screen where you'll be able to select data from a common list of templates or create your own. Let's choose cost and usage actual. Next, in the data set screen, we will be asked to create an export prefix, which is a tag appended to the start of your exports to ensure uniqueness of names. Additionally, in this page, we'll have the opportunity to add more data sets to our export. If we click Add Export, we can select other data sets, such as the price sheet. Once you have selected all your data sets, we are ready to define the storage destination. As a prerequisite for this step, you will need to have an Azure Blob Storage account and write permissions to it. Now, on the Destinations tab, select the storage type of your choice, which is defaulted to Azure Blob Storage. We will then need to specify your existing subscription in Azure Storage account. Then define the container and directory path using your own naming convention. Finally, choose the file format and compression type of your choice. Please note that the file partitioning is enabled by default, which splits large files into smaller ones. Along the same lines, overwriting data is enabled by default, which for daily exports replaces the previous day's file with the updated one. Finally, review your export configuration and make any necessary changes. When done, select Create to complete the process. Your newly named export will now show up in your list of exports. When you select your export, you will be able to see all the details as well as the history of runs. Since we just created our scheduled export, the data is not yet available. You can either wait to the scheduled time of export or run the export now to get the data or an export queued up immediately. After a short pause, your cost data will be ready and available in your storage account. You can now either search for your storage location or take the shortcut in the export details page. As expected, the files will be located in the container you specified in the creation process. In that container, you will see two files, your cost data in a CSV and a manifest JSON with the export details. Thank you for watching and learning about cost exports in Microsoft Cost Management. Hopefully now you feel confident creating your own exports and seeing that data in Azure. As always, you can visit our online documentation linked in the description or watch any of our other videos for more information. Thank you and have a nice day.